Hello everyone, I'm Packbat, and this is, um, this is like the first video puzzle from Opus Magnum, because I wanted to have, this screen kind of summarizes what the appeal of Opus Magnum is, is you have this little machine that you made out of all the parts that the game gave you, and you put all the parts together and make something that works and that can just keep churning out uh, stuff. And, yeah, like, I played a bunch of this game. Um, I finished the main story plot and working through, like, the, the sort of last section. Um, like, the post plot. And it does have lovely clicking noises. Thank you, uh, um, Karen. Karen. Uh, Neskido Squid. Sorry, I... Anyway. Um, yeah, so, this is the game. Um... And then there's the Journal of Alchemical Engineering, which is like uh, a bunch of little custom puzzles that you can play. Um, I really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed my. Um, I really enjoyed a lot of these puzzles, honestly. Um, but yeah, um, there is also a puzzle editor, so you come up with some kind of. Thing. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, like, um, like this one is. I was trying to think of uh, something I could do with like, that would be like a uh, modern debt cord or something. And I was like, oh, uh, ex these two fire atoms connected together with this triple bo triplex bond makes something exploding, and so I will. T attach that into a chain with some salt atoms and there I have something which is like flexible and also blows up on an impact um, and I mean that kind of gets to what I'm trying to do with the stream uh, there should be like a little box on the top of the screen that's alternating between a title of the stream and uh, what the theme is but basically the theme is I go into these uh, puzzle generators, and I'm like, okay, uh, let's, I, I come up with something to make, or hopefully you come up with something to make, so, uh, I get challenges that I didn't expect, um, and I'm like, okay, I want to make a patent medicine back from b before when they knew that, uh, mercury would, would do you some harm, so I want to make, like, hi, speedball, uh, yeah, I want to make, like, some kind of patent medicine with mercury in it and I'm like okay well what if I mean I want it to be like a liquid so some water some water is a good starting point and then maybe like hook, hook the mercury in and one of these uh, vitae things um, I'm going to go ahead and put a salt in on the bottom because that entertains me. And, like, um, that gives me a, something that could plausibly be a, um, a patent medicine in this kind of steampunky alchemy, uh, alternate universe. Uh, I actually spent a bunch of time, like, at the bus stop one day, like, thinking about, okay, what would I do here? So, like, that's why I made this one super quickly, is because I already know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, you have, like, some stuff, and then you have to make it. I, like, that's the general idea of the stream, is that we have something we want to make, and I try to figure out, within the context of these... 15 elements and two kinds of bonds and the possibility of an infinite string what kind of like how I would describe that in terms of the stuff in the game uh, and then like I figure out okay well what would you make it out of um, obviously you need mercury uh, I think probably what would make the most sense is, uh, I believe, 
this is uh, what the game calls distilled water, or like how the game interprets distilled water. So you put these two things, like, like I ran I ran the numbers on this for like my own convenience and just also thinking about how how you would want to like uh, okay, I think it's this one sorry um like let me go ahead and check um right so okay yeah uh, I ran the numbers in my head, and you need two of these salt atoms to make uh, a pair of uh, Vitae and Moors, and we're not using the Moors, so we need a trash can for that. Um, and then it's just like... So... Two of that is, is two elemental atoms. Yeah, exactly. So you, so you need... If you take elemental atoms and salt as a group, you need two for this, and then there's four more in the device. And we have the water already, so one, two, three, four, five, six is exactly two of these uh, water inputs. And then we just need one mercury out of the system. So the numbers work out really conveniently. You don't have anything where you're like, okay, I guess I have to like set aside one earth molecule so that I can bring it back in on the second, every alternate loop. Like first loop, set it aside, second loop, bring it back in and so on. I don't have to do that. I can just like, um, yeah, I can just use two of these and one of these and make the thing. Uh, so, obviously, like, the Opus Magnum people don't want you to be making impossible puzzles that nobody can solve. Um, as opposed to impossible puzzles that everybody can solve. Uh, so, they make you solve the puzzle before you can upload it. Uh, so... Think about what we want to do here. I'm just going to set that aside for the moment because I'll put it in some place that makes sense given... I just like having Critelli in a prominent place in design. Um, yeah. So... Okay. Actually, that'd be fun. Um, uh, yeah. What if I did it with a piston? Sorry, I'm just having fun here. Why am I apologizing for having fun? Uh, anyway, I think I can do this with one tri-bond, because if you look, there's my water, and then I add three elements and everything gets bonded. Uh, so you so you end up with the whole thing in just like one uh, fell swoop. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Like I'm just thinking here that like if I if I'm holding it by like this, like if I'm holding it by, I guess I'd be holding it by this corner. Um. Like, I'm wondering where I should be going. Oh, right. There's something already there. I guess... Maybe I can arrange to be holding it by this corner. And then push out, rotate to the left. Boom, it's dropped off. Okay. Okay, 
So grab, rotate to the right, drop and return. Okay, and that's those three in position. Um, right, left. I would put it here. here I'm holding down the one button here which shows me when I ended the simulation where all the atoms were um, so I can put the bond cutter here and that gets the salt off and then just rotate it to get the other salt off going to be a little bit weird. So my thinking here is this arm grabs the first salt Gonna stick this clock in here for temporariness. Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't. I don't need this. I need salt. fire in here and then I continue around to the left so I retract left 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 drop and that gets me my salt in the right place um by the way, if any of you have an idea for something to make, um, just throw it in the chat, and I'll try to uh, catch a note of it, and then get and then uh, make something after we're done with this part. Um, okay, so I drop that off here. This is going to be slow because I just, that's apparently how I just roll. Um, wait. I can swing around outside. No, because there's a thing in the way there, so I have to go around this way. Um, okay, so I'm here. I need to get to here. That's one, two, three, four. Stretch, grab, shrink, one, two, should get me where I want to be. With the, of course, with the uh, wrong atom. With, with the wrong corner, the corner I didn't want to be at. I wanted to be over here. I guess I could just release, go two squares, two, two angles to the right. 
grab and then do my wait oh I want to go one angle to the right and then grab and then rotate and then stretch and return okay so grab this arm will have moved down here and be pointing at the the Morse atom, so it'll grab it, turn it to the right, and return, which means it will be here and rotate it to here. Yeah. Okay. Guess my plan worked. Totally not fast. Maybe sort of cheap, maybe? Not all that small. But yeah, I like it. Um, like you can see from this, like, my... You can see from this, like, my uh, tendencies when I'm thinking about how to how to how to approach these. Uh, of course, it makes me replay it because I changed the name. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the idea of this stream: is I take ideas for stuff. Um, and then turn those ideas into um, uh, molecules in the game. So, uh, does anyone have any suggestions for something to make? I can come up with something else if you don't, so no pressure, but it'd be fun. I will record a gif for myself. Oh no, I pronounced the word gif. People are going to have opinions now. Um, yeah. The smoke animation from the, was it, Glyph of Disposal? It's, uh, the Glyph of Disposal is kind of creepy. It looks like teeth in there. All right. So, um, that is a puzzle. I'll, uh, Take a sip of my tea and give you a minute. Uh, yeah, we're coming up with new ideas. Um, uh, I uh, I just finished putting together the patent medicine, if you want to watch the thing run. But, like, yeah. Uh, I'm just checking in to see if people have ideas that we want to give a try. I'm just gonna chain of molten gold. 
So like, like the way with gold leaf, you can just, it's because it's so thin and you can like press it onto a surface and just make something, but a bit more substantial and less fragile. I don't know if I'd use fire for that, but that'd definitely be an interesting project. Does, uh, like gold edging for a fabric. Are you okay with me coming up with my own ideas on this one? Uh, okay. So... I mean, there is a, like, uh, golden thread in the game, but, like, if we want... I don't know, something... What about, like, a golden dye? Where, like, you can soak the, the, soak whatever cloth you're dyeing in this and it, and it makes it, like, it imbues it with gold. I wonder if I could do that. Like, okay. Uh, alright. So, obviously, we need to have some gold in here. Okay. Golden dye. It would it would be some kind of liquid or oil or something like that, or paste. So we want to use some some of these elements to make this happen. Actually, if we, if we're making like a, a liquid or something, it would probably just be an element as opposed to being as opposed to being like. Uh, a, a, uh, as opposed to being a chain, because it's, it's, it's a goop. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I think I have an idea. There's one of the products in the game proper, which is a hair product, which is like a goop. It's a gel, you know, um, and it's made up of, like, the hair product would be like this. And I was thinking, like, that's maybe wrapping around a thread, and that's the idea there. So, I'm thinking something like that pattern might make sense. Um... So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, no, I think water does make sense. Okay, okay, here's what I'm thinking. This, this water makes it, mm, uh, I'm thinking we have water to make it kind of, to make it more liquid, and then we have the earth uh to like bring that like it starts with uh a metal and a water with, with a metal and a water so that would probably i don't know what that would be like but it's probably somewhere in between something hard like a metal and a liquid like a water so adding the earth you might get like a wet paste or something which is exactly what we were thinking um, it wouldn't be like a soak into the cloth dye, it would be, I don't know, like silk screening and stuff, where it, it goes on the surface. That can make sense. Um, okay. Let's go with this for now. Uh, all right. So, um, first, oh, okay, I think we're just going to keep it real simple and have earth and water as inputs, but, um, aluminum is not a metal, actually. Um, it's not a metal in the chain, like the, the machines don't take it. You, I think if you add like 
um, yeah, um, like the metals are, the sequence of metals is lead to tin to iron to copper to silver to gold. Um, if I wanted to make something that looked like aluminum, I'd probably like, I might use silver with a bunch of salt or something, or, or tin with salt. Uh, to make, like, it's a metal, it, it's, yeah, I think tin with salt would probably be the best approximation. Maybe something around it to give it a little bit of corrosion resistance, but, like, yeah, like, tin plus, I think tin is decent for corrosion resistance anyway. Tin plus salt would give you something that's a little bit lighter than tin, I think, maybe, if you played it right. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mauve dye from aluminum processing. Like, a purple dye. That's... That makes sense, actually. Like, purple is super expensive, and aluminum... Aluminum processing wasn't a thing until relatively recently, so... One of those things that makes purple a lot cheaper to... A color to have. Okay. Okay, question. Uh, what do we... Like, do we want to have gold, or do we want to make the gold out of something else? Because it's going to be pretty simple. Like, honestly, it's probably just going to be simple no matter what we do, so we might as well not add the added, like, complexity, because that's not what this puzzle's really about. Okay. Yeah, okay, so... All right. I'm going to do a thing that I like doing, and that is have an arm swinging around. Uh, an arm swinging around in the middle of a circle, and like build it up in the middle of a circle. Um, okay. And now I need arms to... could do it with one piston. Like, here you're getting a little view into, like, my mind space of just how do I solve a puzzle. Um, actually it is a little bit, um, like, original. Okay. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. So here's my plan. Uh, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull atoms in from outside the loop and then rotate them around the loop to push a circle of atoms out. And then once I got the fourth atom out, just push it the rest of the way and drop it off. So it should be pretty simple. Drop off the gold there. Then I need water first, immediately behind the gold. And then here's a earth. There's the second earth, and drop it off. Yeah. That's probably going to be the cheapest solution that somebody can make, honestly. Unless there's some real shenanigans with, like, no, you could probably do something with rails and make it a little bit cheaper, but I'm 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 fine with that.
Actually, you could just like build it and spin it. You could probably do it with a 20. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think, I don't see a way, maybe you have to unlock it or something. I was thinking that it would be cool to make this one as a production uh, alchemy puzzle, but whatever. Okay, a uh, new product to make. Um, hmm, purple dye. Was that like a suggestion, like making making a purple dye? What are things that are purple? Like. Like, there's, like, you can do things with, um, very thin, uh, like, you can use thin film optical effects to make a purple, and that's kind of one of the usual ways it happens in nature. I think there's, like, one butterfly somewhere out there in the world that's purple, and uses chemicals to make itself purple instead of just having, like, super thin sheets where the wave interference makes it purple. Um, like everything else in nature that's purple is either stuff people made with like chemistry or, um, I mean, I guess there might be some products from plants or something. Anyway, how would we make, I mean, if I could make a red and a blue, then those two things could mix together and become... A purple. Um, like there are some uh, Opus Magnum puzzles where there's two outputs. And red is easy, like you can use iron rust to make red. Um, uh, I think like maybe bit just making something up here. Like maybe that could be an iron rust thing and make a red. How would you make blue then? Water's blue, but you need titanic quantities and that's not really practical for a dye. Okay, so we have are there any chemists in the room uh, to, to like suggest ways to make things color? Or we could just do something else. If anybody has an idea for something else to make, we can put this on hold. It's all right. I mean, uh, literally, I was just, like, throwing out a gamble out into space. Also, hi. Uh, glad you're watching. I uh, hope you're having a good time. Oh. Blue, 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 blue. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um... Uh, so far, uh, I made this sort of patent medicine thing, uh, and then, uh, a kind of go a paste with gold in it to be a gold dye. The, yeah, it's, uh, it's an alchemy game, and I'm trying to come up with, like, alchemical things to represent whatever it is I'm trying to make. Uh, and, yeah. 
if you have a suggestion for something to make, like, then, then go ahead and fire away. But, yeah. There's like, we don't have any cobalt, so we can't have cobalt blue. There's like, aquamarine. I have no idea what's in it. Yeah, yeah. Opus Magnum is a really neat game, and like the uh, the like the the animated gifts you get from it are just amazing. I could actually just show off some of the puzzles that I made if you want something to look at while people are thinking of suggestions or. I'm trying to figure out how to make purple or blue. Yeah. I'm just going over my notes. I copied out a bunch of the stuff in the game to give me, like, an idea of... an idea of what I, uh, how this worked and what I could make. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one water. Just, I don't know. Um, because, like, iron plus water gives you, like, iron rusts and water. Uh, I don't know. It just makes sense in my head. Um, So if anyone has, like, uh, suggestions of things to make, then I can work on that. Otherwise, um, maybe I could just make something else. Or if you have suggestions on ideas on, like, yeah, I guess I'm repeating myself a bit. I'll give it, hmm, maybe I'll give myself five more minutes to think of something and then do something else if nobody suggested anything. Clay. Uh, or what are we thinking? Like molding clay? Like the idea is you you get the stuff, you shape it into a form, and you bake it. I think I could make. It's not an element, but I think I could maybe make something which would function that way. Uh, in game or like might at least okay Alright. Okay, I 
think the idea here would be clay would be like some kind of earth based thing. So I'm thinking maybe some kind of like um hmm. so my thought here is that this chain is that the water would come off in the oven and you'd be left with this chain which like might no it's it's fine it's actually a really good suggestion because it's confusing and complicated and I don't know how to do it uh, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Um, like, the the whole... And now you get to figure out how to do this thing that someone... That, like, you didn't imagine because you weren't even thinking... Because, like, you weren't the one who came up with it. Okay, so this is kind of weird and huge, but like, my thought is, this chain is likely to tangle with itself if this water is gone. So it, it flows relatively smoothly because it's, it's like this big block when you have no uh, stuff around it, when, 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 it's, when, it, when the water hasn't been put, baked off. But once the water bakes off, you end up with this sort of bound up thing that can't really connect together. Can't, that, that, that doesn't want to break up. So, okay, that's, that's the principle behind it. Let's, let's go ahead and make it happen. I'm just going to use the basic elements here. Um... Ooh. Okay. Uh yeah, no. I think I think I just want to use pure elements here. Mm, and we need a source of salt. We could just calcify some of the water. That would mean one, two, three. Yeah. We'll calcify water, that would make it four water and four earth. So that would be nice and symmetrical. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Maybe the way to do this would be to make each half and then glue them together. I'm going to set this over here for the moment while I try to... Yeah, I think... Feel free to throw in suggestions for other things to make while I'm working on this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each half of this little thing and then... And then bring both halves over here and bind them together. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I moved it there. I don't. Okay. Anyway. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is make the bottom half and then repeat it on the top, and the two parts together are gonna make the two halves, and then I can send them outwards 
to like the right and connect things together. Um, Smelling salts. Just a second. Yeah. Okay, I've noted that down, and uh, yeah, I like that idea. I I think that's a good one. Um. amuse myself um, for a moment here. Okay. Actually. Right, I'm just gonna let this one... Okay. and rotate left twice and return. Okay, two is going to grab. Minus, rotate right. No, grab. Completely arbitrary, but my brain says this is minus, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that minus. Um, plus Okay, so this pair of things will give me that. I keep holding the O button when I mean the drop, which is R. Um, okay. 
Okay. Uh, idea peamed to me in Discord. I'll uh, jump over to that in a second and I just dropped everything. Oh well. Uh, I'll jump over that in a second and take a look. Oh. Yeah. I'll jump over to that in a second and take a look. Uh, like after, I think I'll just actually do it after this puzzle, but okay. Extend piston and move along arm. Yeah, they. <sighs> yeah, I think those are a little bit conceptually tied together. Anyway, um. Right. So I want to... Okay. is not the correct spot. Um, I just want to move this another space minus, and I don't actually need that. And then return to starting point. Okay. Okay, this needs to happen one space later. I don't know if it has, like, that much chemistry in it. Um, it's... Like, the way... I, like, if you're asking about, like, what I'm doing with my solution, it's kind of... Um... It's kind of just, like... I don't know, making it up, really. Um, I, I, uh, hmm. I don't think it's exactly like an enzyme. Uh, hmm. 
I don't actually know enough about enzymes to really tell you. Anyway, I mean, I the way I think of it is making sub-assemblies and then connecting them together, like a very engineering kind of mindset. Um, like, I was talking about chemistry earlier, but that was like... The game isn't actually really about chemistry. It's, chemistry is just how you make the puzzles, and then you move the parts together. Um, okay. Okay, so... Let me make the bits on the other half. Oh. Right. So this arm was one. This arm. spaces back wait oh I've got everything in one place that's even more what okay 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 sorry I just wow okay jeez it's a mirror image how complicated can it be um okay I will be holding the water. Okay. I'll be holding the water and this will all be one space further over. And so I need to get the water back to here. Need to move two spaces over at the top to get okay, there's going to be earth there, so one, two. There's going to be an earth here, so one, two, okay, so let's, okay. Just uh, got that one backwards. Okay, I do need to flip, obviously, mathematically. I need to flip all the angles on arms two, four, and I guess six, but. Right? 
right. Six needs to start here. Oh, wow. This is more what Opus Magnum is usually like. A uh, little bit more what Opus Magnum is usually like. to flip the rotation to I built it wrong. This needs to be mirror imaged. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah. I think, I know Factorio is another puzzle game, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Okay. Right, the result needs to be a mirror image. Complicated. I can live with that. Okay. Okay, so that arm, all it actually needs to do is put salt is put earth here. It doesn't actually need to do anything else. So, have just this arm here. <coughs> which, sorry. Um, so on cycle two, because one goes first, grab, rotate to the right. Okay, I guess it's going to have to slide because, yeah, it puts the first one there. Return. Arm. Five. Grab. Move to the minus. Rotate left. Move to the plus. So what I'm thinking here is, uh, I have it shaped like, it should be like ping, ping, ping at the end of this.
gonna use piston. Um, so four. Grab. Get to the right. Okay, so if I did this right, I should end up with the earth, salt, earth, upper left arch thing here, and then the water can come in and stuff can happen. is out of the way so I can just grab it I didn't, as you know, but it's like I did. Okay. And then I will just rotate it to the left. I'm holding it by this water. So it'll go from here to here. Okay. I'm gonna just shift everything a little bit over so that the Critelli symbol is in an aesthetically pleasing situation. So arm four needs a return. Every other arm has one. So we need to figure out when that happens. Okay. What do you mean one and two are Oh, oh, that was back when I was I was copying things and they were at the same tick, right? Um Okay, I'm gonna look at, um, oh, I mean, so, so the way it works, um, the way it 
works. Like, you see this, like, highlighted area that starts at the first instruction and continues on for a while? Um, that's the chunk that loops. All the loops don't have to end at the same time. Uh, and you don't really need to extend a loop and make it longer unless stuff crashes into each other. So, in this case, I could get away with these things start early and then they start making the next product while the other arms are finishing up their jobs um i'm gonna slide this one over and see if it crashes that's what i thought all right um yeah like sometimes you like most of the time you can actually get away with having some arms start looping before the other arms are done because they're doing stuff off somewhere else and those arms can be doing their thing while the other arms are doing their thing. And it's one of the ways that you get really fast solutions is to make things happen um, make things happen fast like that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you do get crashes and then you you shift things around so that things don't crash. I guess we just ended up Okay, uh, uh, catch you later, Mushwitch. Whew, tongue twister. Mushwitch. Catch you later. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I might just have been, like, I might just be lucky, you know, in terms of whether things crash or not. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I think I understand... The thing that um, Heart of Aquamarine sent. So, their proposal was something like. like uh, yeah Their proposal is something like this. Um, right. So I think this is about right. You have the Earth attached to the Moors in a little loop, and the V and the Air attached to the Vitae in a little loop. I feel like the whole loop would move out either way. Um, I, I think the whole thing would move out and it wouldn't break in the middle like you were planning. Um, it doesn't mean it wouldn't work. Okay, so we want something that will make someone unconscious become conscious again.
just looking through my, uh, yeah, I kind of get the concept. I think I'm probably going to approach it a different way. I'm just thinking about what that would be like. It looks like these things have their effect when they're on, like, the outer circumference of stuff. The Vitae and Mors have an effect on, like, all the stuff where it's like, here is a potion with Vitae and, more, Vitae and or Mors in it. They stick that stuff on the outside. Um... If, if, like, it's supposed to be, like, a potion or something, and, like, at one point there's something else where it's, like, no, they stick that in the middle of a chain. So, okay. We want to make someone wake up. So, maybe just one Vitae in some, one Vitae attached to some kind of, Gas? Vapor? So... Okay, I'm going to duck out of this real quick. Um... Right, so this is smelling salts. Do we want a vapor? Oh, uh, catch you later, uh, Matilda. I'll tell you how the thing went. Oh, okay, I'm gonna duck out of this for a second. So, minor spoilers, but, uh, this is a puzzle from where it makes nice smelling aromas. Um, yeah, so, okay, sorry, um, okay, so these ones were combinations of tin, earth, and salt, which I guess makes some kind of powder. So if I want to make a powder that wakes people up, then maybe do something with tin and vitae and salt. I think that would make sense. The, the, the salt, the tin plus salt plus something else seems, yeah, I, th I think, I think that might be a plausible solution for a smelling salt. Um, so, actually, let's just, let's actually go with tin plus two vitae to make the kind of aromatic salt and then just attach attach this to the attach this to the outside no uh I'll, i'm gonna do that yeah okay so, I think I'm going to have a tin input and a salt input, and we need the animissimus and the disposal. Okay. Okay, I think this might produce some kind of smelling salt at the end of it.
Okay. So I'm gonna have one arm swinging it like that. And then the second arm comes in. Actually, let's make the first arm a piston. And then it can swing this into the trash. Time you swing upwards, grab Okay, so if I done this right, should get rid of the moors and leave that one here in the bond. So now I just need to grab a salt and a tin and bond those together and then all together a salt and a tin and put that OK. 
Okay. Grab plus drop plus grab plus plus return. Wait. Right. Grab plus drop plus grab plus okay okay so if I got this right and uh, let me go ahead and slide this over to put the criterion in an elegant place actually no let's put it let's put it there okay uh, okay if I got this right this arm should grab the tin, put it in place, grab the salt, put it in place, slide that over. Wait. that and come up with a better solution. Sorry, I'm just trying to get, I need to get the loop so that I can go grab the salt, move up and drop it off, grab the tin, move down and drop it off, and then slide it in there, slide it over to ultimately drop it off. So, salt, uh, right, I need to do salt after the other two have gotten their salt, because, yeah, otherwise things go bad. Uh, grab the salt off so move drop tin move tin move uh, move and it just dropped it there so I can move again and not repeat return yeah there it goes I could make it faster if I used a piston, but at this point I don't care. Okay. Okay. Alright.
All right. Um, anyone have any suggestions? I would be fine with wrapping it here. I'd be fine with uh, taking another moment and see if I can come up with ideas for purple dyes. Uh, I would be fine with um, doing something new. So, speak now or you'll have to wait until the next stream, I guess. Well, here's a silly idea. There's an atom in the game that's called quintessence, which is made up of the four elements. And I think these four elements kind of average out to a bluish color, because this is, I mean, you have red and you have green. So if we're thinking of, like, the optical colors, that's red. I mean, that's... That's so uh, red and the green is yellow. So you have yellow plus blue, which makes white, plus more blue. Maybe, maybe that's enough that I can, like, stick a quintessence in there. And we have... We have a salt, we have a reddish iron rust plus quintessence to make a purplish result. I'll give it a try. Um... I mean, it's all made up, so it might as well be. Um, I'm going to... This is the distilled alcohol thing. Yeah. In its standard form, even. And so I can use this to make... I can use four from this to make this. I guess I'll have two salts left over. I could just have... No. Let me look through the catalog and see if there are things which is like multiple 
elements to cover I mean, alcohol gets you two I could use alcohol plus the other two no, I'll just use hmm It's just not coming out of plane. It's two extra atoms in the system. I'd like everything to come out like round numbers. Okay. I'm going to leave this as is. Right, so if I did this, it would become a solvable solution, but it's just not very clean. So I'll leave this as it is, and decide later if this is where I want to go with this particular uh, concept. So, thank you all for coming by. Uh, this was a really neat stream for me. I. Uh, kind of testing out a new concept for myself and it I think it worked well um and like we made I mean I made this just as a demo but like we got three pretty neat kind of puzzles out of it and that's that's kind of cool I think this one especially is kind of interesting um this one's like these two are like this one's super basic this one's relatively basic and then this one is pretty intricate. Although, like, basic is still fun, and this one you have to use the gif, glyph of animismus, so it's got a little bit of complexity to it. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you all for coming. I will catch you later. Oh, I mean, as soon as I figure out my cheek shortcuts, I will catch you later.